What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I am ranking the Child's Play franchise. So next week there is a Chucky TV series premiering on Sci-Fi, which I am excited about. Something I was skeptical of until I saw the trailer. The trailer actually looks really good and it's a fun thing to watch during October, so I'm excited about that. This franchise is something I have mixed feelings towards. It's not my favorite horror franchise, that's Halloween, but Child's Play is one I was always scared of when I was a little kid. I was terrified of the horror section when from a, like up until like age 10 you wouldn't catch me anywhere near the horror section. It was primarily because because of the uh, Child's Play cover. That cover was terrifying to me as a kid and uh, there'd be times where I would stay at my aunt's house when my mom was working nights and she had a spider plant in her room and it was like toward the back of the room and when light would come through like it would sprout off like this to be a shadow and it would look like Chucky so I was I, I, I was had a fear of him and then I watched the movies um, I believe it was Child's Play 2 when I was in high school my mom worked for the cable company so I had access to all the movie channels one night Child's Play 2 came on I was about to turn it off but I started watching it and I was like this is hilarious and it was just a fun time it, 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 was, it was just a fun movie and then I kind of dropped it and then I ended up watching the series later on and actually really enjoying it for the most part. And we're going to be ranking the movies. Now this is one series that has actually pretty good continuity. The first seven movies are pretty consistent with connecting with the original. What works well for this series as well and works against it is the creative force behind it is Don Mancini. He wrote I think pretty much all the movies with the exception of the remake. There are eight movies I'm going to be ranking so we'll start naturally with number eight of course that is seed of chucky this movie is absolutely unwatchable it is a follow-up to bride of chucky chucky is going to have a kid we th i thought personally this is going to be like a killer kid he's a going to be a child this is he or she we didn't know at the time is going to be a child of two killers two crazy people and it's the exact opposite. His son is a, Glenn, I believe his name is, is a, he's just scared, pees himself a couple times during the movie. The jokes are bad. Red Man's in it, he's bad. Uh, Jennifer Tilly, who does Tiffany's voice, is playing herself, playing Tiffany, I think. It's just super confusing, it's super stupid, the jokes are dumb, and it just goes full on comedy. Now the good movies in the franchise, which we'll get into, have a good balance of the sense of humor and the horror aspect. Next one is not that much better. It's Cult of Chucky. This was a uh, follow-up after Curse of Chucky. Again, had a lot of potential. The In the last movie, we have a character who knows Chucky's the killer. She gets put in a mental institution. The mental in institution setting should have been really good and they should have took advantage of it. Now, it looks really good. However, what they do is they completely dismiss the entire lore of Chucky, which is the fact that he is a voodoo inhabited doll with the soul of uh, killer so Charles Lee Ray. However, in this movie they abandon that and pretty much every good guy doll is evil. So they completely remove that. There's a couple good kills, but for the most part, it's a it looks like a VOD movie. Number six, I'm gonna put on my list, this might be a little bit controversial, is Child's Play 3. Now all of these six going forward, I will I'll rewatch. They're watchable. The other two are just bad. They make no sense. They're not. They're not even fun. The jokes are bad. But in uh, Child's Play Three, what where it hurts for me is the first two are really good, and this movie is in continuity. So again, they have really good continuity, and this movie sticks with that. However, it takes place in a military academy, and it just looks like a made-for-TV movie. Opening sets it up really good. Chucky is finding Andy, so we can continue his. A search to putting his soul into him so he can live on as a human but if this the acting's bad the dialogue is bad it's just it just doesn't look good in my opinion the climax is really good the close to the movie is fantastic at the theme park but and of course Chucky's good Chucky's consistently good throughout the series pretty much all the time he's pretty much always good Brad Dorff voices him again that's something else in the continuity of the series that works really well but the made for tv -ness of this movie is where it hurts. Number five on my ranking is Child's Play, the remake, which came out in 2019. 
and this is something that did really well. I was skeptical about it, like I am with all remakes and reboots, but this is one that did what you're supposed to do. If you are going to remake a movie, if you're gonna remake a classic, which the first Child's Play is, you have to do it well. And what you do is you take the skeleton, what made the original work, and then you add, mo you modernize it. So the original took place in the 80s, this one took place in 2019. So it takes, it uses all of our technology. So the toy company that makes what's now called a buddy doll, it's kind of all the technology in your house is connected. The TV is connected to the refrigerator, it's connected to the stove, it's connected to your phone, connected to your computer, and the buddy doll is connected to all of it. So all the technology, all the toys are kind of like Bluetooth connected, which I thought was a nice take. And But what this does is, it's a similar concept where the doll is befriending Andy and just wants to be his friend. But in this case, this buddy doll has all his safety inhibitors removed at the original factory. So the factory that makes these buddy dolls with this high level technology, a disgruntled worker there just removed all the safety features. He can be violent. He's gonna curse. All this stuff. So he basically what he does is if you ask him to go, hey, hey buddy, can you go get me some of my car keys or whatever, he'll go get them. But in this case, he takes everything very literally and he, if you want him to do something terrible for you, he will. He just gets into some very chucky things. Um, it's a nice little take on parenting in there as well. Um, Andy's basically a parent to Buddy and Andy's mom is just trying to be a friend to him. It's a, it's a nice little dynamic, I like it. Um, score is good, but yeah, very fun um, remake. Number four is the original uh, Child's Play. This is a basic horror movie. It takes all the basics of a horror movie and it's a murder mystery. Charles Lee Ray, movie opens up, He put he's going to die. He puts his soul into the body of this doll who now needs to put that soul into the body of a human. Andy is who he runs into. He knows his secret. He has to put his soul into him and that's the movie. There are some great kills. I wouldn't say great, but it's it works. It, it, it works well. There's some budgetary factors. There's time, fa the fact that it takes place in the 80s. There's things they're trying to do. They're trying to make a doll a killer. So you have to use camera tricks. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it doesn't work. We're gonna get into a movie that does it much better in just a few after this. But it is a classic. If you watch it cold, you don't know who the killer is. You don't know if it's Andy. You don't know if it's Chucky. It plays on that. It takes place mostly in the apartment uh, with Andy and his mom. Naturally, nobody believes Andy until it's too late. There's different types of characters in these Child's Play movies. There's either you know that he's the killer and he kills you. You know that he's the killer and everybody thinks you're crazy. Or you just think that person's crazy um, that's telling the story or whatever. So number three is Child's Play 2. These top three were really hard for me to rank, but I just have to be subjective toward my leanings in horror, as you'll see in just the next two movies. I lean towards more modern day made horror movies. Child's Play 2 is an absolutely amazing sequel. It's one of the best sequels, one of the best slashers. Um, so Andy, after the first movie, is put into foster care. Naturally, still nobody believes him about Chucky. Chucky is still trying to haunt him because Chucky wants to find a human uh, body to put his soul into. He's, that's still his mission. So he finds Andy, gets to him. Again, great one-liners, great comedy. This is where it starts to get perfected with his one-liners. It's from my favorite one-liner of all time is in this movie when he cuts down the, uh, the foster dad and he's hanging there. How's it hanging, Phil? It's perfect. Um, great movie, great fun ride. Again, confined setting. The only thing that brings it down a little bit for me, I just, like I said, I prefer the more modern day take. But yeah, the kills are great. His one-liners are great. The character Kyle, she, um, who is his foster sister in this movie, she's coming back for the TV series, which I think will be fun. See what they do with her. She's a great character in the franchise. So I'm excited about that. Child's Play 2 is a great one. So if you have it ranked number one, or you this is your favorite one in the franchise, I totally get it. Rank number two is Bride of Chucky. This came out at the time of Scream and does all the same things Scream did well. It's very meta. It's very aware of it being a horror movie. It opens up at a police station in an evidence locker where it shows Jason's mask, uh, Michael's mask, and Chucky. Of course they'd all be there. And so it's aware of what it is, but it does it well and it's not too annoying. Now you get what's fun about this movie. It absolutely masters the horror and the humor. Now it is probably a little bit more geared toward humor, but it does it so well. You get to see this sarcastic 
lunatic doll and the type of woman that would fall for him. Uh, the opening is great in the Bride of Frankenstein's type scenes um, with her becoming Tiffany. It's so fun. You get to see him in a relationship. That it's it's just hilarious. And their journey um, on this this ride across country, the people that are taking them, and you, you'll, you'll get into why. You have to have a suspension of disbelief with all these movies. Who cares? Just have fun. Anyway, they're getting ride across country by this couple. It's kind of a mirror, which I thought was pretty cool take. But yeah, the scenes with uh, Chucky and Tiffany are absolutely fantastic. This is a great one. This is a classic. But my number one is Curse of Chucky. Curse of Chucky was a VOD movie. Now, based off the one previous to this being See the Chucky, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much, and the fact that it was VOD is like, oh boy, here we go. This is, this is going to be a bomberoo. Like, why are they putting it on VOD? It's exciting because you can see a slasher movie, a you know, feature that, you know, from a prominent franchise at home at the time, which is pretty, now it's commonplace. But. When I, I so I, I stalled on watching it and then I eventually watched it I think after a few weeks after it was out and oh my goodness it got back it took everything from the original and perfected it now where I like why I like this one the best this is purely subjective it is to me it takes away the humor now where the humor works in those other movies and it's very fun I like a purely classic horror film and Curse of Chucky does it perfectly. So Chucky winds up at this house, which you think is random, and you're wondering why is he there. You find out later. You get a little backstory on Charles Lee Ray. You have Fiona Dorff, who is the daughter, actual daughter of Brad Dorff, who voices Chucky, who I thought was going to be like sympathetic casting. I always don't like when like children connected with whatever it is, like this new uh, Saints of Newark thing. I don't, I don't like when they get cast. I feel like it's sympathetic, but she is absolutely great in this movie. She is confined to a wheelchair and her, their mother recently died. The family is all gathered at this house. The house is so cool. I love this. This is my favorite setting. It's a dark, like gothic type mansion, Hitchcockian looking, um, but it gets back to basics. It's very tight. You got some annoying characters, but you got the family dynamic, which Chucky plays on. You got her mental illness. You got her being confined to a wheelchair, which her, she, he plays on. He befriends a little kid like the original. He befriends Fiona Dorff character's niece. It's just a tight movie. Again, you get a little backstory. You get ties to the original, so it maintains that continuity. So that's why Cult of Chucky is so low on my list, but also because it stinks, because it didn't follow up and do the same beats of this movie. That's the that's a big problem with this franchise as you can see me going throughout is when it does well, it doesn't continue. It changes course. Why? I don't know. But yeah, that is my ranking of the uh, Child's Play franchise. Very fun movies. Curse of Chucky is one I watch every year. If you haven't seen that one and you just like a good horror film, I would absolutely recommend those top three if you haven't watched them. Those would be good intro into the series. Child's Play 2, um, if you haven't seen the original, of course, uh, Bride of Chucky, if you just like a more fun ride, that's that, that'll that be your bag if you like a little bit more laughs and you like the humor. If you like it, just a more pure horror movie, Curse of Chucky. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this series. Um, let me know what your favorite uh, Chucky or Child's Play movie is. Were you scared of him as a kid? Are you going to be watching this series? Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you all again soon. Please take care.